Hello everyone, uh, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the money and luck forecast for April 2016 for the Geminis. So this is a five card spread. It is a general reading. I do recommend a personalized reading. Um, the link to my website to purchase a reading is in the video description box. Um, also make sure that you subscribe to my new Gypsy Tarot channel. Um, the link is in the video description box also. Um, and a lot of the money readings are going to go on that channel. Okay, a lot of the money and luck readings. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle for the month of April 2016 for the Gemini. I'm listening to some throat healing chakra music. Okay, so um, because I've got allergies. And I had some laryngitis, so... Uh, my throat is feeling so much better. Like, I've been listening to it for over an hour, and it's a miracle. I've got ginger tea, and I'm feeling really good. Um, so we're going to be looking at your current money situation for April. Uh, we're also going to be looking at um, will money be coming into your life very soon? So this is like within the next couple of weeks. Um, money opportunities you need to look at. Um, who or what project will bring in more money? And the outcome. And a card did turn over, but it'll come back. So, Yep, it did. It was the same card. I knew it. <laughs> All right, you guys. So um, let's take a look at this Gemini. Let's look at card number one. <clears throat> your current, <clears throat> your current financial foundation is the Elder of Wands. Okay. So um, I can see that for a lot of you Geminis, you've got a really, really good foundation. Um, this is a good card I'm showing currently. Um, the Wands suit is all about um, identity and morals. And so um, the Elder is about wisdom and confronting obstacles. So I can definitely see some obstacles that are um, standing in your way. And I'm seeing that you're dealing with them very well. Um, you're using some really good energy to deal with it, to um, try to overcome it, because that's what life is about. It's a test, and you're definitely um, learning and growing. So this is a really good card. The Elder is like the highest level um, that you can be at in the in you know in any suit. So this is like the King. Um, card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon and i did get the ace of wands so for a lot of you gemini's there's some sort of new beginning or new opportunity with this ace of wands and um it's something that's going to take you to greener pastures um you can see the green in the back there's the desert there's the wand um there's all of the energy this is the energy's um, directed towards the new beginning so these are the ideas and then also to answer the direct question this is a yes so I can see for some of you um, whatever project you've started um, it's definitely going to pay off this month for you within the next couple of weeks <clears throat> um, you can see you can, um, this indicates the obstacles, um, you know, the bumpy road. Um, this is also new beginnings to your personality and you experiencing some sort of spiritual epiphany this month. Um, not card number three is money opportunities that you may want to consider or look more closely and you got the eight of wands so um i 
I'm seeing that some of you Gemini's with this card, you are considering um, a career or some sort of um, opportunity has been presented to you to maybe possibly work from home, maybe some sort of home-based business. Um, that is what the Eight of Wands is about. In the, and you've got all of these wands, so there's a lot of um, personality work that you've been doing um, this month. So the Eight of Wands, Um, in the tarot, in the pagan tarot deck is events set in motion in the past that have borne fruit. Um, I'm seeing that maybe um, some of you have been presented the idea of going into uh, modeling maybe. Um, whatever it is I'm seeing it, I'm, I'm sensing with this card, um, an entrepreneurship. Okay, is what I'm sensing with this card. So, um, you know, if you're working a regular job, that's fine. But this is something that you'll probably want to consider. Um, and, you know, or just make sure that you, um, are putting... All of your eggs in the in the basket the correct way. Um, you can see that she's got her eight wands. They are lined up perfectly. Okay. She's got three wands in one pal, another three, and then the two. And then she's got one long wand. So she's really... Um, You know the the in in the drawing, it just looks like she's making some really good plans. Um, let's see. In card number four, um, who or what <clears throat> project will bring in more money? <clears throat> now, this is where things kind of turn for. You know, this is where things kind of. I don't know, get kind of iffy for you, Gemini. Um, this is the Five of Pentacles. So this indicates um, some sort of economic hardship. Um, I get the sense that whatever job that you're at now, it's not paying you much. It's mediocre. Um, it's basic, you know. Um, when you This woman is obviously, um, she has nice things, but it looks like, from back in the 70s or 80s so you can tell that you know this person um, you know lives and they don't really invest a lot of money into themselves um, this is about dependency so it, I, this card is saying that you know you really do need to branch out you know even if you don't leave your current job now I'm going to tell you right now don't leave your current job until you feel stable enough. So I think this card showed up to say that as well. <clears throat> um, so for some of you it's different, but for some of you, you, you know, you're going to really need to think long and hard. about what you're doing and make sure that you have things lined up and planned um that was another thing that i was seeing with this eight of wands is that some of you gemini's out there are thinking about um you know becoming some sort of notary or something on the side um, or maybe doing it full time, you know, to bring in some extra money. Um, don't quit your current job yet. Okay, is what this Five of Pentacles is saying. Um, your final card is the Elder of Pentacles. So it's really about being smart with money. 
being really smart with money and knowing how to build money. So the Elder of Pentacles in the Pagan Tarot deck is uh, wisdom and possessing things. So making sure that you hold on to your money. Making sure that you invest it wisely. Okay. Um, and this is your outcome card. So um, if you take the advice of the Four of Pentacles um, that I think that it's giving you. Then you'll end up um, with the Elder of Chalices. But I'm sorry, not Elder of Chalices, Elder of Pentacles. But I think this is a literal person. I think this is a spirit guy coming and telling some of you Geminis to make sure that you're being smart with your money and make sure that you're investing wisely. Okay, so um, for a more personalized reading, um, again, check, uh, check my website. It's in the video description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.